Good morning, y'all, and welcome to my pregnant morning routine. I am currently five months pregnant, so I thought I would make my pregnancy morning routine because I do some things that have been helping me throughout my pregnancy. So if you are pregnant like me, then we gonna get into it. So I wake up before my daughter, heavy on the before my daughter. I also have been using this pregnancy pillow and baby, when I tell you this is a game changer, if you are pregnant, it doesn't matter how pregnant you are, get you a pregnancy pillow because it is a game changer. So recently I have been getting better sleep than ever thanks to my dream cloud mattress dream cloud is the most awarded luxury hybrid in the u.s it features a dreamy blend of memory foam and individually wrapped springs each mattress is cashmere topped and beyond comfortable with me being pregnant a comfortable mattress is non-negotiable and coincidentally dream clouds mattresses literally feel like you're sleeping on a cloud y'all i also loved how easy the setup of this mattress was you simply just take it out of its package and wait for it to inflate my mattress only took 15 minutes to expand and i was pleasantly surprised the mattress has a height of 14 inches with a seven layer design for maximum comfort for every sleeper i'm a plush soft type of girl which is why i switched to dream cloud and dream cloud also sent me their linen bundle that included two luxury pillows a sheet set and a mattress protector so it just set this off to the next level for me So with this pregnancy, I have a lot of lower back pain, but thanks to Dream Cloud, I now wake up with no back pain, y'all. It is literally such a blessing. And if you're still not 100% sure about Dream Cloud, they offer a 365 night home trial with free shipping and returns plus they offer a lot of financing options with over a million mattresses sold and counting dream cloud is the leading luxury mattress company you need in your life click the link in my description and use my coupon code for better sleep today okay so remember when i said it's so important for me to wake up before my daughter well you're about to see why because i get to do self-care in the morning so with this pregnancy baby i'll be sweating at night so a morning shower is non-negotiable for me and since my daughter's sleep i can do like the full in-depth just you know showing my body love before the whole day starts one thing i've realized in this pregnancy is like my body is doing so much and it is only right to love on my body to care for my body, to be kind for my body. So yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of sleep, but in return, I'm gonna get all of my self-care, all of my hygiene done, and I'm gonna feel amazing. I love doing bump care. It's probably my favorite thing to do in the shower. So I've been using this smooth exfoliator from, I think it's from Hatch Mama, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll link it down below for y'all. It just shows that extra love, extra care. I also do my affirmations in the shower. I talk to my baby in the shower, all that type of stuff. You know, really just being in tune with my body. I feel like with my last pregnancy, I was out of tune just because there was so much going on in my life. So now that I'm in a place of like stability and peace, it's so nice and refreshing to be in tune with this pregnancy. Okay, so I'm coming at you with a hack. If you are pregnant or even if you're postpartum, use witch hazel on those places that are prone to more smell. So like your underarms, even your bikini area. Witch hazel and water on a cotton pad is literally chef's kiss, y'all. It keeps me fresh all day. So I definitely do that in the morning as well as night. And then I'm just using my regular native stick deodorant. And I have not been feeling since. As you guys know, pregnancy nose is real. So all of my like really heavy lotions, I'm just, I'm just not rocking with it right now. But I do love this baby dove. It's really weird, but it kind of reminds me of like how a baby smells and I'm like very maternal right now, so I love it. But also it's not heavy scented, which I love, but it still smells fresh and clean, which is great for after the shower. And it's really moisturizing. So I feel like this is my staple for this pregnancy. And for my bump, I'm gonna be using bio oil. I'm really not one who cares about stretch marks, y'all, but I do want my stomach to be moisturized regardless. So I put my bio oil on. But to any mama out there struggling with her stretch marks, struggling with that insecurity, girl, you literally housed a whole human being 
please be gentle with yourself please extend yourself grace like these are literally your battle wounds and i know sometimes it can come off as like an insecurity because of society and all that but stretch marks are so beautiful to me in my opinion so rock your stretch marks be proud because you literally did that girl now y'all know i love my braids especially because i have a one-year-old and i'm pregnant that means i do not have much time or energy so braids are just my go-to i can do a quick two minute style in the morning and feel put together that's a big thing i want to talk about because i know how easy it can become to just not care for yourself as a mom trust me i have been there but when you put yourself together in the morning it gives you motivation to have a better day and it's going to boost your self-esteem trust me on this just take a few minutes out of the day if you can while the baby's sleeping or whatever and just try to get yourself together i promise you you're going to feel so much better throughout the day staying hydrated is so important to me especially with this pregnancy since i am running around with my one-year-old all day so i make sure to drink three of these a day and it's so much easier to drink water out of a straw than a cup i don't know the psychology behind it but get you some type of cupware that has a straw i promise you you're going to drink so much more water than you would with just regular cups of water but now it's time for breakfast i I am a breakfast eater i know a lot of women especially in their first trimester cannot eat breakfast but baby i'm hungry okay so i like to eat something that's pretty filling but kind of healthy so i don't feel sluggish so i'm just doing some oatmeal and then i'm gonna cut up some fresh fruit this is definitely a staple for me it's quick it's easy it doesn't take a lot of time and again it gives me the energy to sustain me throughout my morning so basically what i do girl is i have like a breakfast when i wake up and then when genesis wakes up we eat again because your girl is hungry like i said so i'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and then we're gonna head upstairs to just do some reflection some meditation some bible study all that to really center ourselves before the start of another day oh wait girl i totally forgot i want to talk about the supplements that i have been taking so for this pregnancy i'm only taking two supplements i'm taking my prenatal which i'm going to show you guys in a second and that is from nature's valley and this is the one with folic acid i switched from the one that i'm currently showing you and now i'm taking the one that has folic acid in it i've been doing a lot of research on tiktok and this is supposed to be like a really good prenatal it hits like nine out of 10 on all of the vitamins that you're supposed to have as a pregnant woman. Now also take into account, you should be eating nutritious food throughout your pregnancy. Now I'm not one to preach that girl cause I'd be right at Chick-fil-A, but it definitely does help with like all the vitamins that you need. Now I've been taking the prenatal and also primrose oil. Primrose oil has been shown to help ripen your cervix in efforts to shorten your labor and decrease post-date pregnancy. So I was induced with my first baby. So it's super important for me to not get induced this time because it was just a really traumatic experience. So I've been trying everything I can. I will let you guys know how that works out for me. Though pregnancy is so beautiful and such a blessing, it is hard. And I know that a lot of us struggle, especially in silence, but I just want to encourage you that you're doing the best you can, especially if you are a first time mom, this is all so new to you. Be encouraged because the only way for you to learn is for you to fail. That's something that I had to come to terms with within motherhood, but I promise you motherhood is one of the most beautiful and special journeys you will ever get to go on. So keep going. You've got this. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning into this morning routine. Stay blessed and I'll talk to you later.